Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are fairy lovers. We are going to go on a whimsical journey with the Got To Glow Fairy Finders. So these guys have been sitting in my collection and I was sorting my shelves out today, giving everything a little bit of a clean and a reorganize. And I looked at these guys and I thought, oh, I love you so much. <laughs> And I thought I should do a video on them, really. Um, I think, spoiler alert, um, I like the aesthetic of them more than the actual um, innards, like the gameplay and the technology of it. Um, it's good. It's great. But for, like, Tamagotchi collectors... They might get a little bit bored of it quite soon, but I love the aesthetic. I think they look so adorable and so cute up on my shelf. I still love them, um, but they're not like ones that you would grab to play with um, on the go-to. So let's get in and start. So over here, I've got the Got To Glow Baby Fairy Finder, and we have the Got To Glow Jar, and we've got the Got To Glow house. So we're going to start off with the first one that was released and that is the Got To Glow Baby Fairy Finder, sorry, Got To Glow Fairy Finder jar. So we're going to start off with this one. So let's turn this one on. Okay and here we are. I've currently got the upside down fairy um, in the jar because I caught a fairy while holding my jar upside down. Um, so I got an upside down fairy. So they are super super cute um, and the way you catch fairies is you open the lid of the mason jar and a fairy would fly in. <laughs> Magical. So let's have a look at what we've got going on. Bless you. So we can give her a hug by holding down these two buttons. Very nice. She's blowing me kisses. Stop it. And if you quick press the middle button, she will eat. She loved all of that. <laughs> So now if we long hold down the button, we can go on to my collection. So my collection, what does it say? 12? 12 fairies? I don't know. Yeah, I think it says 12. One out of 12 we're on. So here we are. And there's also an app that you can get um, as well. Uh, so you can log the fairies that you've got and you'd see their names. Um, and a little bit they're more in detail like they actually have faces they're not just like a silhouette so yeah so let's choose this girl so now she will come on there she is hello hello <laughs> Um, and also you can talk to them. You can open up the lid and talk to them. So let's give that a go. Hello. I don't know if she heard me. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. There we go. <laughs> so you can talk to them because there is speakers um, just here and here. I think that's what they are. Um, but it says you have to open the lid to talk to them. Also, if you tip it, they will get dizzy. So let's tip her around a bit. She's dancing. There we go. <laughs> she got dizzy. And oh, she didn't like that. <laughs> okay, so let's long hold the middle button again. So we've seen collection. This is how you can find fairies. So let's do that. Let's find a fairy together. So it's telling us to open the lid. Okay, we've opened the lid. Oh, that means we've got one. Here she comes, close the lid. I've closed the lid. Oh, 
adorable. Hello. Oh, she's like got a cloud for a skirt. Can you see that? There we go. And little raindrops. She's a cute one. They seem to have hay fever, a lot of these fairies. I don't know why. Um, a lot of them sneeze a lot, so. <laughs> okay, so let's long hold again. Collection is done. The fairy finder is done and there is a game. Just one game on this one. You've got to be ready straight off the bat when you go into it because as soon as you press it, it's gonna put you into a game. So we are going to keep dodging these clouds to the best of our ability. And it does get quite fast, I must say. It does get pretty intense. I do have a high score on here that I actually can't beat. It's like, I think 1,000 and something. And yeah, I can't beat it. It gets so intense. And also bear in mind, I'm looking through the viewfinder right now. So I might not be able to do such a good game as what I would usually do. So let's see how far I can get. Just keep dodging all of those clouds. Okay, we're on 390, 400. It's gonna get fast soon, I can feel it. Let's get to 500. I bet you as soon as it speeds up, I just, I hit a cloud instantly. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, so my high score was 1,560. I told you I can't beat it. <laughs> okay, um, so that was that. That's the game. Oh, she's eating again. She loves it. <laughs> she just tooted. Okay, so let's go back in. And after that, there is the transfer. So you can transfer fairies from device to device. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, just saying. <laughs> and on this, it is just the brightness and sound. So with this, the gameplay, I think it's more about going around and collecting the fairies more than anything. It's, um, yeah. It's more about that and filling them up. And as I said, there is an app that you can get on your phone where you can log the fairies that you've got. Also, you'll be able to see the fairies that you haven't got yet. Um, and the fairies on the app, the fairies that you haven't got are a black silhouette. Whereas the fairies that you do have, you'll be able to um, go and log them. So this is the Got To Glow fairy finder so let's turn this one off and we will go over to the baby fairy finder so this one i think is my favorite one and um, this is the got to glow baby fairy finder i think this one is super cute and the characters in it are also super cute so let's bring you in a little bit more okay so let's turn it on so you just turn it on in the back. And here we are. I've got this super cute little tomato looking baby fairy. Isn't it adorable? <laughs> it's so cute. Um, I love it so much. Um, I'm not sure what this music thing's about, but when you press both of these, it comes up with a music thing. I don't know, I'm not sure. Um, so let's hard press the middle button and there was food obviously this is to find a fairy this one is the collection so i've got this little twig fairy <laughs> a crab fairy that i caught earlier uh this one maybe a star fairy this cool little dude a diamond fairy a whale fairy uh some lips I don't know what that is. <laughs> a unicorn fairy and my cute little guy. I love him. He's definitely my favorite one out of all the ones that I've found so far. So let's go on 
and let's have a look at the games. So this one actually comes with three games instead of just the one. So there's this one here, which is like a memory game. So she's gone on right, right, left. Okay, so then we go right, right, left. Yay! Left, left, right. Okay, right, left, left again, and right. And the sequence will get more and more each time um, that you go along. So obviously it gets harder and harder. I'm already lost. Guys, I'm, I wasn't concentrating. I was talking. I'm not 100% sure. No. <laughs> oh, I wasn't really concentrating that much. So that's my bad. Oh, I went into the wrong game. No, I want to exit. I don't want to play it again. I'm a loser. Okay, let's just lose the game because it's um it's one thing that I need to talk about is this one. Oh, it's such a shame because you don't actually um, get any um, points or anything like that um, for any of the games that you play. You don't get money, you don't get points, and there's no really need for it. This one is a button mashing game. So you need to mash these buttons as fast as you can, basically. <laughs> Yep. And again. Fantastic. Oh, eight seconds left. <laughs> Three seconds, two, one. I think we did it. 155 points so you don't get anything for it but you get a high score so that's that one and the last game is a peekaboo game um with a little tricky fairy so you need to basically press where she presses so here oh there <laughs> oh there <laughs> The games on here are very simple, so I think they are aimed at more of a younger audience. Um, they are cute, but yes, as you can see from what I said earlier, I definitely prefer them more for just the aesthetic um, and because they're just so cute. Um, and yeah, and the fact of thinking that I just have a jar full of fairies on my shelf, like ha ha ha, evil fairy catcher. <laughs> So this is pretty much the extent of the game. So I'm going to choose this one just to bail out of the game. 90 points. Not bad. <laughs> okay, so now we have, that's all the games. So let's go back if it allows us to. There we go. And we have the swap, which is the same as the fairy jar. And the volume settings. So we have the food and you can choose what food you want to give your fairy. Let's go for pie. Oh, it liked it. <laughs> so the last thing I want to show you with this one is how you catch a fairy. So on this one, you basically follow the arrows of where it's telling you to go. There is a motorbike outside revving. Okay, so let's do that. So down this way, up that way, down this way again, down this way, up that way. Obviously I'm filming, you would do it with a lot more action than what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, cute. Is it like a little cat or something? That one's cute. 
very adorable. So yeah, I do like the, the catching of the fairies um, to see what ones you get and to also fill up your fairy finder with all the fairies. <laughs> so let's turn this little cutie off and we will go on to the last device. So the last one is one that I was actually the most disappointed about. It really hurt my heart because it's it's a fairy finder house and online it says that you care and that there's um, a food meter and a happiness meter and I was like, that sounds like a Tamagotchi to me. Um, and it says it evolves. So they start off as an egg when you catch them. It's a little fairy egg and then you raise it. Um, so let's turn it on and I will show you. So here it is. I love the aesthetic of this, don't get me wrong. It is super, super cute. So here's my little penguin man, little penguin unicorn fly thing. <laughs> He's very cute. He is flashing like no man's business right now. What's wrong with you? So we double hold these two to see what he needs and he needs everything. <laughs> so let's get on to giving him as much as possible. So we'll give him an apple, a couple of apples and a donut. There's your donut. So that's the food. And then we have the care. And this is basically kind of like a fruit fall um, on the Tamagotchi. Um, and you need to catch all the hearts and avoid those evil crosses. Um, and this is giving your um, little fairy pet um, love, attention, I guess. Um, pets, um, like strokes. I'm not sure. It's But it, it's giving it happiness, I think. So you need to keep on catching all of these hearts to show it the love and avoid those. We don't want those. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's getting intense now, guys. Stop it, you're going to make my eyes water. Ah. Okay. So this is what I'm saying, like, to begin, like, oh, <laughs> I can't even talk. Um... They're really basic, so you think that they're for little kids, but this is like, I mean, poof. It's so, you're going so fast, it's blurry. <laughs> Did you see how blurry it got? <laughs> okay, so now we are flashing on the game. It wants to play a game. Another thing with these is as soon as you press it, you've got to be ready to play. You've got to be ready to go straight into the game. There's no hanging around. Um, and this is, again, you're avoiding, I think, everything. I've tried it all which ways, like catching those little stars. Nope, I died. I tried catching those little football things. I died. See? It's a, it's a hard one. So it's kind of like, what age group is this? <laughs> it's got to be like 10 year olds. You need some speed to play this. Oh, we're going straight back in. Oh, I pressed the wrong one. Okay. Okay. I can do this. Come on now. Avoid everything at all costs. That's just the fairy way. Avoid everything at all costs. Whew. You see how blurry they are? Ah! So, come on. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, let's have a look. So, he's flashing up that he wants food. So... I did feed you, my guy. It's, you know, you're not that hungry. I've given you so many apples. Okay. Surely you've had some food now. So let's... Yeah, yeah, he's good. He's good. He just needs a little bit more. The thing with this one is that, yes, you do get an egg. And then it turns into a cute little baby. And then you get a cute little child and then it turns into an adult which is what mine is right now and i'm stuck on this adult form i don't know where to go from this um i've looked in the instructions and it's not i don't know whether i need to get him to his like max 
thing do you see keeps on flashing up for me to do things i'm trying but you you keep depleting too fast <laughs> There is like a latch on top. Once I come out of this game, I will show you. Um, it's like the other ones. It's got this little lid on top of it where you can um, open that to find new ones. I've tried just leaving it open and hoping that a fairy would come my way and I can just snatch it and shut the lid. But it's not happened. So, and I kind of, I'm... Ugh sounds bad but you know I'm getting a bit sick and tired of the penguin man and I really want a new egg um so let's just catch a square so I can show you my dilemma he's cute though he's very look at look oh he's just sat there with his belly like okay so this is the little latch oh <gasps> what happened what's happening What's it telling me to do? Shut it. <laughs> this didn't happen to me the other day. No, no, no. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. We get an egg and then boop. And then we need to have a look. Okay. Feed it up. And it grows so fast. Like 10 minutes it will be an adult. <laughs> I don't know why it goes so fast. It's so strange. Um, everything happens so quickly. You don't see it coming. So let's give him a donut. The little fluff ball. He looks like a little dust bunny, doesn't he? He's like, he looks really scruffy. <laughs> I wonder what his name would be. Okay, so he looks like he needs to play a little game. So we'll play a little game for him. And we'll let him evolve up one. Hopefully... He turns into something a little bit cuter than a a little dust ball. Whoa. See, this gets really intense. I'm glad, though, that it doesn't have, like, some really intense, like, dramatic music behind it. Because that would, like... Like, you know that music that gets faster and faster and faster? My anxiety. Oh, I wouldn't be able to deal with that. Okay, he's sleeping now. So, I don't know what that's about. <laughs> Wake up. I'm trying to look after you. So let's give him some care, a little bit of love. So out of, there is actually one more that I don't have. It's the the uh, pet fairy. Oh, I had to squeeze past that one. Uh, it's the pet fairy finder and it looks so cute. I think I might get it down the line if it comes up as a good price. Uh, just to finish off this little collection that I have. I'm not really overly interested in the gameplay, but um, it would be nice to, you know, catch a couple of fairies on it and have it in my collection. <laughs> it's really hard, honestly. If you have one, like, and you, you've, like, I don't know, if you've gotten really high level, then wow. <laughs> so we have the penguin, and we have our little dust ball. <laughs> I think I might call him a bat. Um, he does look cute. So yes, that is our fairies. I don't know whether Bert's got a unicorn horn. Okay, that's fine. So it's quite hard to actually get their um stats up to maximum. Um, let's see if we can get Bert's food fully maxed out how are you feeling but almost there but on the games that's a little bit harder <gasps> see he's evolving Ta -da, we've got a unicorn oh <gasps> but you're no longer a dust ball you're a beautiful unicorn okay oh is he scratching like a dog? He just scratched like a dog. <laughs> okay, so we're going to leave the video here. They do evolve super duper fast. It's a very quick one. But if you like uh, collecting games, um, these are for you. Uh, you can collect all the fairies and they all come with these cute little hangers. Apart from this one, it comes with a teeny tiny little... <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, I do love like kind of sassily walking past my partner with these just swinging like, oh, I'm the fairy catcher. Um, I have done that multiple times. So <laughs> just the evil witch just catching all the fairies in our house. So I'm going to turn this one off and oh, sirens are going. I don't want to be caught for catching all the fairies. I think they've gone. Good. Okay. So <laughs> we're gonna leave the video here today if you liked the video please do give it a thumbs up if you have a fairy finder let me know in the comments which one you have and if you don't and you want one which one would you get so with all that said and done thank you so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it um if you did please do subscribe also it really helps the channel out and don't forget to turn on the bell notification button so that you don't miss a next upload Till then, I'll see you on the next one. Bye!